Ali. Okay, next tutorial. This tutorial was something a little bit different. I really wanted to do something that isn't scary or horrific. It kind of looks a little bit horrific, but with the lenses, but <laughs> um, I really wanted to try and do something a little bit in a different direction because I'm not all about the horror. I do, I love theatrical makeup. That's me. It's not just the horror side of things, even though I do love horror. You know, you guys know that. Um, so I thought I'd do another animal inspired look, um, like I did my leopard makeup. Um, this look was actually inspired by Max, um, Not Afraid to Be Freaky. They're, they did a zebra face chart a little while ago. And I thought I'd do my spin on it, so I've I've took elements of their face chart and incorporated into my own design. Yeah, so <laughs> it was just a super fun one to do. It's just very, very, very time consuming, um, and <laughs> um, because I it's got to be very symmetrical, as symmetrical as you can get it. But yeah, it's still fun and it's quite an effective look. I don't know. <laughs> it's, I've tried to go for more feminine. I want to say sexy, but I don't like saying sexy, you guys. Though, um, kind of a look. Yeah, you guys get the idea. So if you'd like to see how to recreate this black and white zebra madness, stay tuned. The first thing I'm going to do is block out my eyebrows, but you guys don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, if you've watched my tutorials before, you know I just like blocking them out because, I mean, I, I want it to be very seamless and I don't want there to be just two dark eyebrows there. And I mean, you can cover it with a pattern, I think, but yeah, I'm going to block them out. And if you guys want to do that, I'll pop a link here to a tutorial I've done in the past to teach you guys how to do that just in case you want to do that. So I'm going to do that and go from there. Okay, so all I'm going to do is, now my eyebrows are blocked out and flattened down, um, I'm going to take some Snazaru black watercolour, and the reason I'm using watercolour to start off with, with the majority of these lines, is because I don't, I was going to use the cream, the Grimace cream, but I don't want it to blend, so this will dry and hopefully not smudge. Yeah, so I'm going to start on the eyes, I'm going to do the eye patterns, and then once I've done that I can work on the white base and then draw the lines on after that. So the shape I'm going to go for, for the eyes is going to be very, very slanted, very cat's eye, funnily enough. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to have the corners of the eye drooping downwards so that I can make the illusion that these are pulled up a lot higher. So I'm going to draw, a, a, I'm not going to have any colour other than white in this area here around the tear duct area. So what I'll do is I'll draw on this eye the shape that I want and then I'll go through it slower with this eye. Okay, so it's, that's the gist of the shape that I'm going for. So I've left the middle part clear because I'm going to do my own little thing there and maybe some glitter. We'll see. <laughs> so the idea is I've pulled the eye up here. I'm going to do some patterns around here so to blend it all in. But So the, the important bit is that I've left this whole area here clear and I'm going to probably colour my waterline in this half of the eye later on. Um, and I've left this part where my tear duct on the top is clear as well so I can colour that area in. Yeah, so that's just to pull the eye up and just to change the eye shape. So, I'm going to do that again on this eye. And by the way, the brush I'm using is, I don't usually talk about my brushes, but this is a, an, a really old brush I've had now. I think it's by Simply Beautiful Cosmetics, if the company's still going. But it's a very, very, very fine brush, but it's a stiff, fine point, and they're brilliant, these kind of brushes. So it's basically an eyeliner pet brush. But for this look, it's that kind of brush is perfect. Then I'm going to take my Snazaru Clown White, and I'm going to apply that in just a few areas because then I can blend it afterwards with a kabuki brush and this stuff does go a long way so make sure to apply it on your neck and your ears as well and make sure to pat it on your eyebrows if you've blocked your eyebrows out. And then I can just powder everything with some Grimace Translucent Powder just to get rid of the shine and stop it from smudging and just to set it in place basically. And now the fun part. So this isn't something really I can talk you guys through, it's more I'm going to show you on a time lapse to how I do it. I'm only going to be using the black Snazzle watercolour and this one brush. Um, all I can say is it has to be exactly symmetrical or that's going to be the challenge, making it as symmetrical as you can. So good luck with this. Wish me luck. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm gonna have a break from doing this for the time being, because it took me just under an hour to do that. <laughs> so, and I've still got it in my ears and my neck, so, yeah. Oh dear. Oh well, I don't very often do these intricate designs, so why not? <laughs> so, whilst I recover from doing all this, I'm going to take my Collection 2000 Extreme Felt Eyeliner Pen, and I'm just going to draw a line on the top lip just to divide the two in half so it's not going to be a smile which is going to cover half of the top lip and then flick outwards but not go on the bottom lip at all so it's going to make the bottom lip a lot more fuller and the top lip a lot more thinner that's the idea So my reason for using a Collection 2000 eyeliner pen rather than a lipstick is because I know when it dries it won't transfer to my bottom lip because I've going to have that red, bright red or pink, I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet, on the bottom lip. So I'm just going to let that dry and then I'll be able to touch up my bottom lip and then we can apply the colour. I might do the colour last actually after I do my neck and the eyes and yeah. Then I'm going to take a Collection 2000 um, eyeliner gel and I'm going to use that in the waterline of my eyes but only up till here because this whole area here I want to be white so we want, we want to make the eyes look bigger and more slanted then I can apply a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk in the waterline just in the inside where my tear duct is and then I'm going to take a smaller brush and colour in the area here and the area on my eyelid with the white Snazaroo Clown White This next step is again optional, but I want to have the whole hairline going up here. So I want a very strong V shape, like I did for my Ryuk tutorial. So I'm going to take some crepe hair that I've already straightened. I'm going to take some spirit gum and I'm going to apply it in a V shape here. Um, the idea is to let it go tacky, and then once you've got your hair, you can cut probably only that that long, not long at all. You can snip a straight base and then layer it down. It's probably going to take about six layers of hair to get this blended into my own hair. You could use a wig. It's, I mean, the hair I'm going to go for is a very, maybe mohawky. So I'm going to pin this all back here and probably back comb my own hair up here. But I want this V to blend into it. So I'm sure you guys can think of something. I mean, you could do it with a wig, but again, up to you guys. So now I can take the hair and just stick the base down there. So it's best to work backwards to forwards when you're working on the V. I think I've done it opposite in the past for tutorials and I've realised too late that I should have probably done it the other way around. So yeah, so just keep layering it up. So one after the other, combing it in, making it into a point here. So then I just need to grip my hair back. So I'm going to apply grips either side of my hair and just leave the centre part of my hair clear so I can back comb it and make it kind of like a fluffy mohawk. So there we are. So once that's all pinned back, I can just start back home my hair. Again, this is only applicable to me, obviously, because I have medium length black hair, but um, a wig would do the same thing, really. Once you've applied it, you can back comb the hair just to give it a bit more volume and just blend it into the fake hair you've glued to your head, basically. That sounds really unprofessional, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm then going to take the tiniest of tiny bit of black hairspray and I'm just going to spray my hairline just ever so lightly and obviously my hair just to blend in with the crepe hair and obviously I don't want to get it on my ears but I just want this to taper off a little bit but anyway so yeah so here we go so make sure obviously to breathe in make sure you're in a ventilated area and don't spray obviously directly in your eyes you guys know what to do Now you could stop here if you wanted to, but I'm going to go a little bit further and try and make this a bit more feminine because I wanted the whole pulling up the eyes to make it a bit more, not sexy, but you know what I mean, like more of a feminine punk kind of humanoid zebra person. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm going to take some false eyelashes, I'm going to apply some on the top and maybe some on the bottom, we'll see, but I'm also going to apply the red bottom lip. 
So on the top, I'm going to use a pair of Eldora lashes, the ones I got eye mats. These are fabulous. Look how fluffy they are. <laughs> they are, if anyone wants to know, number C188, if that helps anyone. So very, very big fluffy lashes. And I'm going to use a medium pair of just random lashes I bought in bulk for the bottom set. So they're medium, they're quite large, but... So you flip them upside down, once you've cut them to size, I'm going to apply them again off-centre underneath because I don't want there to be a weft in the white here. So I might cut it a bit smaller actually, just so I can apply it, yeah, to the to the edge, you know what I mean, where, where I've applied the black uh, fluid line. So then if we're going to go for this whole feminine zebra, if there is such a thing, I'm going to use my old time favourite red lipstick, which is um, Amplified Heartless by MAC. It's actually one of their Venomous Villain collection ranges, which unfortunately they don't do anymore. Um, the only one I could say you could use if you can't get hold of this, which is going to be near one impossible now, is um, Revlon do an amazing red collection, a whole red range. Is beautiful colours but this is my favourite one and I'm going to use it until I run out so <laughs> plus I'm going to go over it with an OCC an Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics uh, lip tar in where is that super NSFW um, which will cover it pretty much but I just want I, I can't give up an excuse to use that I have to use my Amplified Heartless I love it so <laughs> so I'm going to cover my whole bottom lip I'm going to make it a tiny bit lower than my actual lip to make it a bit more pouty then I'm going to go over it in a really thin coat of the um, Super NSFW just because it goes a long way just a tiny amount in the middle and it will last and it makes it so shiny and glossy and I won't have to use any lip gloss So there we are so the contrast to the top lip just looks quite cool I think and I just I blatantly forgot to do my ears I'm getting I'm terrible at this okay I'm gonna do my ears and get back to you so there we go um, the only real, the only thing I could do next really is the lenses, but it's up to you guys. Again, I've said it for the third time now, but I mean, you could go with the natural eyes or regular contact lenses. I mean, it could work. Very humanoid eyes, very pretty. You could go with pretty eyes, that kind of thing, like bright blue or something like that. I don't know, or bright red to go with a little bit demonic zebra. <laughs> but I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my Scalera lenses again. You guys don't have to. I know I use them a lot in the past, but I do, zebras do have the big, big black eyes, don't they, like horses, and I don't know, I, this is the first time in a while that I've not done a very scary look, so it might add a bit of demonicness to it, or innocence, hopefully, I don't know, so yeah, I'm going to use my Scalera lenses, they are called Sabretooth, and they're from eyesbright.com, just in case you guys want to know you have to email them if you have to inquire about getting them and stuff like that. But again, as I said, you don't need them. I just think it might add a bit more of an impact to this look. And there we go. So, as I said, I finished the look by popping in two black Scalera lenses. I'm actually... I, I really like the lenses in with this look. I think it... Even though it's weird, but I think it makes it look a little bit more feminine. I don't know. That could be just be me, but... I think it works quite nicely. Um, the costume I'm using is, as I said, because of the mini mohawk and that, I thought I'd go more of a punk chick rocker zebra i don't know so i put a top on that's very rocker chick punky kind of thing and um i painted because the neckline is so low i painted a little bit more of a zebra print on my neck just to so i wouldn't have like a line where there's no zebra print <laughs> um but yeah that's pretty much it so i mean i think i should have some earrings in or something like that just or a nose ring i don't know <laughs> but yeah so that's my zebra humanoid punk zebra um, but you guys get the gist. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like it, please make sure to rate, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. And yeah, so until next time, bye.